What's up, my Scorpios? Welcome to BMHP Table Etiquette. Hope everyone is enjoying this beautiful weekend. It has definitely been a blast thus far. So I hope you're enjoying yours. Either way, Scorpio, I'm going to go ahead and build up this foundation. See what's going on with you and your person. At this time, where's the love vibe? Is it love there? Are you guys separated? Like, what's going on with the Scorpios? So let's see what's up. Beloved, what's going on with Scorpios? Let's go ahead and build this foundation to their relationship. And then let's get two tarot ducks out for Scorpio and their beloved. Thank you so much. Oh, damn. So we got something that was short-term, short-lived. You thought it was love, but it turned out not to be. It could have been three three weeks, three months, um, three years, but it was something more short-term. This wasn't a long-term relationship. Yes, we have freedom. We have dark mail. And we have control. So whoever this person was, I take it this dark male is them or it's you, Scorpio. It could be a dark male, any nationality, whatever. But this person is kind of smooth, kind of suave, if you know what I mean. Like this person could be a player or something like that. This is a person that do like their freedom. But I see somebody has a hold on someone. Like someone's trying to walk away from this connection and it's not easy for them. Something keeps pulling them back. The other, the other thing I'm getting with this relationship is um, that someone, whoever this player was, this suave, sexy, sweet ass person. I mean, this is kind of the, the aura they give off and this is how they attract people to them. They're kind of, I keep getting suave. So this is a person that dresses well, smells good, keeps keeps themselves up. This isn't someone who isn't attractive. This person is very attractive. But let's see what's up. What's building up from this foundation? What's going on? So we have the sacred woman, connection, and self-respect. So... What I'm getting is whoever is the feminine in this relationship, this is someone who's very well connected to the spiritual realm. And in the book, this card talks about an Indian woman who, you know, if any man would disrespect her or something like that, she would make them suffer. But one man, I guess he knew how to talk to her. And for that reason, she kind of didn't punish him in the same way that she did the other man. I believe that's what the story is about. But this woman has those spiritual powers, spiritual abilities and whatnot. But I do see there was a deep connection here, but it's 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 like it was over before it began. Like you guys were never officially a couple or something like that, but it was this connection here. It's because whoever this dark male is, they so suave, they so mm, but they need to learn a lesson about self respect and what it means to respect themselves and respect others. Because sometimes when things come to you too easily, you just don't appreciate them. And you guys bear with me because for whatever reason, I'm not sure what's going on with the camera. But as more cards get laid out, the darker it gets. It's the weirdest thing. So bear with me. Either way, let's see. What's, um, what's on the surface of this connection, please? The magician in the mirror and action. So with this action card, you could be dealing with a, um, a fire sign, Scorpio. But it's like, um, this could have been someone you manifested. But you kind of manifest this person. I don't know if, if, if you ask for someone that was attractive or someone who was... Um, I don't know why I'm getting this dab in there. I keep getting this sexy vibe like it makes me want to touch myself so this is <laughs> you guys ever met somebody they so damn attractive they make you want to touch yourself like mm, this is the energy that this person is giving off like they so damn attractive and um they can get anyone they want but i think when you were trying to manifest this person or or meet someone like this in your life you forgot to to say the things like that they're loyal 
that they're faithful, right? But let's see, what's the energy that's crowning this reading? Then we'll get out some tarot, see what's going on with this connection. What's the energy crowning this reading, please? Oh, gossip. You, you know what with this gossip card? Some people, and I'm sorry, this might not be you, Scorpio. This could be this person. But some people need to learn how to not share everything with their friends or with their family members or something like that. I feel like you got some haters. Because <laughs> whoever this person was, they was attractive. But you got some haters around you that's like don't want to see you happy they were hoping wishing and praying that it won't work out between you and this person i mean the energy i'm picking up is let's say for example this is like yo 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 best cousin favorite cousin however you guys grew up together everything you know usually they're the ones that get everything they want but it's like this would have been somebody they would have dated or something like that and they're they're looking at you like i can't believe that you attracted a person like this or i mean i don't i don't know this vibe is like weird like this isn't a person that's happy for you this is someone with a jealous eye and an envious eye which seem to be the disease that's going around and i'm not sure if it's because of social media but the jealousy the covetousness that people are experiencing it is it is times 10 compared to what it was before social media but um yeah it's like i don't know scorpio if you tell your your cousin or whoever this person is about you know this person you're dating this suave you know smell good like it, i'm t the, the energy i'm picking up i'm sorry it got me smiling so i know scorpio this was like someone that was very very i mean attractive doesn't get off the 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 mist of air or energy that this person brings into an atmosphere this is the type of person that i mean when they walk in a room their aura is like mm, who is that <laughs> and you got people around you hating on that but let's see what's up this old sexy ass person here scorpio who you messing with this person uh scorpio <laughs> They fine. All right. So your person has, they have the Hermit, the Nine of Cups, the Death card, which is you. They have the Three of Wands, the Will of Fortune, and the Six of Pentacles. Let's see. What do you have over here? You know what's crazy? This person is a person that chooses to be alone because they know they worth, they know their value, right? But um, you got them swinging. And that's that Mint Condition song. I don't know why that one came up. You send me swinging. Oh, you send me swinging. Away from the day. <laughs> I'm gonna kill this song. I don't even know it. But um, either way, you've seen this person swinging like, um, this person to be in heavy ass daydreams about you, Scorpio. It's like you some a little different. You know, you like, shit, you refreshing to this person. I don't think that's normal for this person because this person is constantly in the days thinking about you, Scorpio. And then you have this will of fortune energy. I feel like... I feel like people always put this person like on a pedestal or something. I don't know if you told this person kiss your ass and kept it moving and you turned this person on. But whatever you did, uh, yeah, this sexy motherfucker here is like, oh, I like that. Okay, so um, you got the uh, Six of Cups, the World, the Three of Wands, the Hermit. Arrest from strife. 
and the Knight of Cups. You know, I'm talking about all this sexy, suave stuff, and these hermits are popping out. Are you dealing with the Virgo, Scorpio, or somebody with Virgo in their chart? Because um, you feel yourself, Scorpio, like this is your soulmate. Like this is someone who you can settle down with and be your your true self around. Like this is some, oh, excuse me. They got these, um, what is this called? Sparkling water beverages now that make your burp like pop. So please excuse me. But um, this is the type of person that will make you change who you are for them. Like, I don't mean like anything is flawed or anything is wrong with you. But this is the type of person that makes you want to be a different person. But for whatever reason why this ended, I'm not sure if this ended because it took for you to to leave them before they realize like who you were to them. But I feel like you still think about this person. You still wonder about this person. I feel like you still want to be with this person, Scorpio. But there was something that turned you off about this person. At one point... You don't want this person. You don't want to deal with this person. This person could have hurt you or did something like that, Scorpio. But this person, they fine. That's all I know, Scorpio. Mm. Let's, um, let's see. What else should we throw in here for Scorpio? Uh, okay. So I'm gonna pull out my um divine masculine real talk oracles. I'm gonna see what else <laughs> you need to know about this person. Oh my goodness. What else does Scorpio need to know about this sexy? I don't know. They got that prince vibe. You know how Prince thought he was the sexiest thing <laughs> in the world, heels and all. Yeah. I miss the days when men wear pants like that, though. And I'm not talking about skinny jeans, okay? Because skinny jeans are not attractive. I'm talking about the times when men wore nice slacks. And you could... Mm. <laughs> What's going on with your energy, Scorpio? I don't even talk like that. <laughs> this is your energy or this person's. What else does Scorpio need to know about this person? So this person is trying to hide how emotionally available they are. Like this person knows it's so open for you, Scorpio. It is crazy, okay? They feel lost without you. And like I said, they trying to hide it. They on some fake shit. But I'm going to tell you what they can't hide. They're tired of playing the roles. They're tired of acting like where they at makes them happy. They really want to like come towards you no matter what it takes, Scorpio. This is the type of person, Scorpio. <laughs> They are used to getting what they want because of the suaveness. I mean, think about it. You meet a lot of men, even a lot of women. This must be a guy because I keep talking about suave. I don't know if I ever met a woman. I say, yeah, she's suave. So this got to be a guy I'm speaking reference to. But this person just has that, that, I don't know, Rico suave type. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's throw some more, um, uh, let's get some tea leaf. Let's see what's up with the tea leaf. What else does Scorpio need to know about this person? Oh, this person suffocates. I'm hearing that song. I can't breathe when you're close to me. I can't breathe when you're touching me. I suffocate when you're away from me. So much love you take from me. I'm going out of my mind. Yeah, they keep thinking about the good times that you and them share. And I feel like it's on equal ends. Scorpio, you might even be be like um in the midst of like praying for this person. But this person, this person's not the same since they met you. Just know that, Scorpio. Alrighty, what does Scorpio need to know about this person? Throne position of authority maybe that's why they walk and smell the way they do because they might be in a high position this isn't somebody that broke so if you're dealing with somebody broke this reading ain't for you oh damn they got marriage on their mind and shit scorpio 
What else? Damn. Flowers. Happiness. They can see themselves being with you, Scorpio. It's something about you that have caught this person attention. And I don't think they're willing to let you go because it's very rare that they meet a diamond like you. I'm not sure if they're going to surface in September. Or like I said, are you done with a Virgo? Because um, it's definitely a heavy hermit energy here. Okay. But, um, wow. Let me go ahead and let's see here. Let's see their personality type. What's this person's personality type? What's their personality type, please? What they swab as? I keep getting Rico Suave. <laughs> this person could be of Hispanic um, heritage or something. Oh, no. Please, no. Okay. Okay. One more. Don't mess up a wet dream. Okay. Okay, I get that energy now. Okay, I see why it's here. So they have a Midas, a miser. You know why this um, miser is here? Because like I said, this person knows that they're a person of high value. They don't share their stuff with everybody. Like, like they, they'll date, but not like a serial dater. They don't want no type of drama or things to affect their life. Things like that queen so they can see you as a queen they could they can walk they can have that that aura as a, a royalty energy because i'm definitely picking up like i said suave smooth like that type of energy virgin more freaking virgo energy and then they're a visionary you know scorpio with this visionary card this person could be like very spiritual they can be very intuitive. This person could just be a highly motivated person. This is a cold person you messing with, Scorpio. Um, why are you guys not together? Is what I would like to know. Mm. Either way, Scorpio, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button on the way out. And I'll see you next time. Take care.